Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI. 800-950-6264 and, and you can also text at 741741 and for additional resources reach out to the National Suicide Hotline at 988. You can either text or call that number. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So today I want to talk to you about uh, the illusions that you see that's real. You know, you, you just got out of this relationship with this narcissist, or you may still be in the relationship, and you see that this person has literally turned people against you. They're lying, they're doing all kinds of stuff, and you're sitting back thinking that this person never loved me. So we all know the answer to that because we know a narcissist has turned their back on God and God is love. So no, they never loved you. It was always a plan. And now they're throwing dot, darts and they're trying to take you down by any means necessary, you know. And this is especially for the ones who may still have to have contact with this person because you share children. You know, they come in and um, they just, they're just evil. There's no other way to say it, you know, and they do things to make you feel like it was your fault. Some of them come in uh, with such a long face uh, trying to make you feel sorry for them. But I want you to uh, give yourself a pet on the back first, you know, and, and smile. And one thing I learned, you know, as growing up, I learned from my mother. Sometimes you don't always have to say something to a person to uh, make them leave you alone. Sometimes you just can uh, show with your actions. So let's say that um, this person, you still have to be in charge of uh, taking your child to this person. And um, this person is always, like I said, coming around you with, with a long face, making it seem like it was your fault that you broke up the family or whatever the case may be. Um, let them say what they want to say. Learn to deflect. Don't listen to it, you know. Um, if it helps you to come in with uh, uh, earbuds, put them in your ears, uh, put some music on when you're dropping, you know, focus on your child, talk to your child, let them know that you love them and that you'll see them when it's time for you to pick them up. Don't have a conversation with this person unless it's about the child, you know, and then uh, here's another thing to keep in mind. If you sense or if you feel that there's any harm that's coming towards your child because this person is so angry at you, then take this back to the courts, you know. And if the courts are not listen, listening to you, then you do what you have to do to where if this person want to take you back to courts because you're not, excuse me, bringing the child to the visits or whatever the case may be. Don't allow your child to get caught in the middle of this person's anger. You know, um, use common sense. The courts are going to hand down rules. I'm not telling you to be uh, on the road and to do what you want to do, but I am telling you to protect yourself and your children. And if it's not making sense because the court said to continue to take this child um, to the person and you see some behaviors, then you do, you stop. You do whatever it takes to protect the children, you know, and to protect yourself. Um, because um, one thing I do know, a narcissist will do anything to get their way, and they, they do try to use the court system, but you have to be smart. You have to uh, keep notes of things. You have to listen to your children. You have to be that one that's going to stand there and be their voice, because children don't often like to speak against their parents. So you do whatever it takes, because... Um, if your child is telling you they don't feel comfortable and they're old enough to tell you this, then make sure that you listen to that. Don't think that, oh, well, I have to because the court said I had to. Um, listen to your children. They're very smart. Um, they know what's right and they know what's wrong. So don't sit there and um, 
make them do something. And like I said, you see this, it's not an illusion. You know what's going on and you have to make sure that you keep your eyes open. You know, I'm not saying to go against a court order and just don't follow it at all. I'm talking about when there's instance when things are not going right and you can tell, then you have to step in, you know, uh, do whatever it takes, you know, continue. If you have to go back to court, go back to court. And I know sometimes it's not expensive. It's, it's not cheap and it's expensive, uh, but do whatever it takes to protect your children and protect yourself. If you know someone that's going through this, please share this video. If you're going through it, watch it as many times as you need to. And I will see you again tomorrow. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.